Hi, my name is Jeff Gregor with Wirefly.com, and I'm here to do a basic demonstration of the Facebook app for Android. That's Facebook for Android cell phones that you can get from the Android Marketplace via your cell phone. I've already downloaded Facebook, so I'm just going to go into the menu, click on Facebook, and voila. There's your basic Facebook looking interface. There's a recent post from my Facebook friends. You can see them right there. I can scroll up and down like most touchscreen phones. And if I want to add something, just click on the tab in there. The form. Oh, come back. Click in there. And uh, there's a keyboard. And I can just start typing a message in here and hit share. I'll send a bizarre message to my friends. Echo. And there you go. Now, the really cool thing about Android phones is if you're really into Facebook and Facebook is a big part of your life, you'll probably want to have Facebook, I mean, somewhere on here. So what you would do is click on the plus sign on this Android phone and look for the Android widget. Click on Facebook. And oh, it's going to try to add it to your home screen, but there's not enough room. So you just drag it down here and remove it. And to make room, you're just going to click on icons, wait for the green arrow to select to show that it's selected, drag these, and remove, and remove, and go back. Now you can see we have enough space on the home screen, and we are going to go back, Android widget, Facebook, voila. Facebook is now on my home screen. Every time I start up my phone, I will get Facebook messages. This will update live or depending on my preferences. Um, but I never actually need to go into the Facebook app anymore. I can sit here and get all of my friends, Facebook friends posts right on the home screen of my phone. And if something does pop into my mind that I want to post on Facebook, I just click right there and post it straight to Facebook. You can't get any easier than that.